Hi everyone, in this particular lecture, we are going to look at how to install dbt core on your computer system, on your Windows machine. So dbt core is the command line interface to use the dbt functionalities. So in order to install the dbt core on your system, so first of all, what I will do, I will open the command prompt. I will go in my search bar and I will open the command prompt. Okay, then I will create a new virtual environment. So in order to create a new virtual uh, environment, you have to execute this command. But first I need to check my uh, version of Python. Python dash dash version. So if Python is not installed on your system, you need to first install the Python and then execute this command okay then you have to start the dbt core setup dbt core so this is my directory let me just go into my directory where is the directory c user and this one okay now let me just execute python minus m v e n virtual environment and this is going to be the name of my folder enter so a new folder has been created with this name okay let me just open this and it has some files include uh, okay it has site packages okay a new virtual environment has been created with this name dbt dash core okay it is still executing the command it hasn't been it hasn't completed yet so after it completes uh, i have to activate the virtual environment let me just check the status if it is completed or not it's still running now it has been completed after that let me just check the folder dbt core okay now after that what i will do activate the virtual environment so what i will do i will go in my dbt core folder cd and just copy paste it dbt core enter dir let me check the directories i have to go to this directory scripts cd scripts and dir i have to activate this type activate look activate okay it has been acti activated so once this session is expired once you're going to close this session uh, you have to again activate the virtual in environment for example let me just close this uh, uh, command prompt now if i open the command prompt again i will go in in the directory where is the directory dbt dash core cd dbt dash core dir and again I have to activate the virtual environment activate just type activate now I am in in this uh, session after that once it is activated I have to install this pip install dbt dash snowflake so since I want um, dbt to connect with snowflake so i have to install the dbt snowflake connector okay so this is going to install the snowflake connector for dbt just copy this and now i'm back to my dbt core folder and execute this pip install dbt dash snowflake okay the installation process has been started okay but the command is running
so this is successfully executed after this command i'm going to execute this command dbt init so this is going to initiate my project okay now just execute dbt in it and this command is going to ask you for for the project name enter a name for your project so let me just name my project as dwh underscore project enter then which database would you like to use so i will give the option number one press enter okay account number so here i have to provide the snowflake account uh, name okay what will be the account name so my username is this is going to be my username for my snowflake account sign in and let me just copy paste the account name So this is going to be my account name for Snowflake. Copy paste this. Enter the username. Username is this one. This is going to be my username. Enter the password. Press one for the password. So I will provide the password for this username. role so the role is going to be this one account admin is going to be the name of role okay account admin so this is the username that you will get once you're going to sign up with snowflake okay this is the username this one this username okay let me just provide the role account admin press enter okay warehouse what will be the warehouse name so i have already created the warehouse and the name of my warehouse is this dwh underscore wh press enter database so i have already created the database uh, my database name is this let me just give the database name dbt underscore db is the database name okay dbt underscore db is the database name press enter schema let me show you the schema name schema name i will give the prod schema name this one prod schema name let me just give the prod schema name prod is going to be the name of my schema so you can give whatever you want i will give uh, the name prod since i have created this new schema prod enter threads three number of threads so happy modeling so this has been uh, created the project has been created okay now in order to check uh, if it is successfully created i'm going to use the command dbt debug let me just execute this so this command is going to check several things like configuration profile.yml file is okay but dbt project.yml file error not found let me just check why it is giving me the error so i have to go to the dwh project first cd dwh underscore project
no tbt debug okay git since we are not we are not connected with with the github repository that is the reason why it is giving me the error okay profile that yaml file yaml file yes okay found and it is valid dbt project dot yaml file okay found and valid connection with snowflake okay it is okay so since uh, for this dbt core setup i'm not going to use the github repository i'll be saving all my files in 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 my local drive okay now this has been tested successfully next i'm going to open the visual studio code visual studio code so if you do not have this visual studio code you can download and install this on your system since i already have it in my system so i'm not going to uh, install it okay look so you can download this from download visual studio code for windows so you can so from here you can install this on your system okay now what i will do the project has been created and this is the name of my project it has models so if you go in in the model folder you will get the example folder and by default you will get two models let me just uh, add this project folder in my visual studio code let me just open this uh, open folder and select this project name uh, select folder okay look these are multiple folders that we are going to use in in our course okay one is the model by default you will see that i have this configuration block and i have this cte common table expression so this is how the syntax of model model look looks like now let me just open the terminal here uh, new terminal and let me open the command prompt let me just delete it from here i can uh, access it but first uh, i have to activate uh the the virtual environment from here since i'm accessing this folder so i have to activate it so right now i'm not here in my dbt core okay now i have to activate it first so what i will do dir i will go in my script folder first then activate okay it has been acti activated successfully now dir dwh project now let me just check the yaml file dbt underscore project dot yaml file name of my project is dwh underscore project and let me show you the models project name is this models and underneath this model folder i have this folder called example so what here i am trying to say is that i want what these two models i want views to be created so by default for example here if i do not mention this configuration let's say i i, I do not mention it okay save this okay fine so what will happen view will be created because here in in my configuration here in my yaml file i have mentioned the materialized should be view 
okay now in order to execute these models i have to ex execute the command dbt run dbt run is going to execute all the models now first of all let me just go to my prod uh, schema and i need to check which tables are there first i have to drop this table this table i have already created so i need to drop this table drop view uh, the view has been dropped now let me just show open the visual studio now what will happen since i have defined the materialized should be view i have removed the configuration blo block here if i'm going to include the configuration block and i'm going to mention it that it should be a table then table will be created in, in my snowflake okay since I have removed the configuration block now I'm saying that the materialization should be view in this case both models should be created as a bow view both should be materialized as a view okay now let me just execute it dbt run two models found two models four tests okay now let me just focus on this model successful now let me just check uh, the views refresh it now two views will be created look two views will be created in this case okay now let me just change the configuration to to table dbt run Now refresh it. Look, two tables have been created now. Okay, the first table is this one and the second table is this. Views will be deleted. Okay, so first it is going to drop the views. These two views which have already been created then it is going to create these two tables 